Welcome to our tutorial about the Zoom tools. Cubase gives you many tools to control how you view your work. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the Zoom tools. Let's start with the Zoom tool from the toolbar. It's blue when it's active. The cursor turns into a magnifying glass. Use this tool to zoom in on an area by left-clicking and drawing a rectangle around the area you want to zoom into. Now the area that I selected fills the event display window. You can also zoom in with the zoom tool by left clicking on any event. Alt click to zoom back out. If you hold down the control key on your PC or the command key on your Mac, you'll zoom in vertically and horizontally at the same time. Don't forget you can quickly zoom in and out on the cursor's position like this. Just left click in the lower half of the ruler and drag it down to zoom in and drag it up to zoom out. If you drag toward the left, you'll zoom backwards in time and toward the right zooms you forward in time. This bar is the event and content vertical zoom bar. Just drag it up to increase the vertical size of your recorded event. This doesn't boost the volume of an audio track, it just changes the graphical display. It can make it easier to find clicks or noise when you're cleaning. Drag it down to reduce the vertical scale. If you use the Zoom Context submenu, you get many choices. Right click, that's a control click on your Mac in the Event Display area. Let me drag this up a bit, now you can see it. You can zoom in. or zoom out. We can zoom full. This will fill the project window with our entire song. Zoom in vertical. This makes our tracks a little taller. And zoom in tracks. Zoom out tracks. Zoom selected track. Undo zoom. And redo zoom is our last option. Let's check the zoom in tracks option again. Since my tracks were too tall, I wasn't able to zoom in any more vertically. Okay, there we go. Now we've increased the track size with zoom in track. We can zoom out track to decrease the size of the selected track. By the way, you can resize tracks easily by hovering the mouse over the lower edge of the track and then dragging up or down when the mouse cursor becomes a double-sided arrow. You can adjust all of your tracks at once by shift selecting and then dragging to your optimal size. You can control select two tracks if they're non-sequential. Oops. And resize them this way. Now let's look at the track scale pop up menu. Let me close the transport panel so you can see what's going on here. Click on this arrow. It's between the vertical scroll bar and the vertical zoom bar. It's jumping out the right side of my recording screen, unfortunately, but it does let me zoom tracks. One row. I can also choose some preset values for track height. I can fill up my whole screen with all my tracks. Or I can enter any number of tracks that I want to fit on my screen. Let's restore to full so we can see all of our tracks. Underneath the track scale pop up menu is the vertical zoom bar. Move it down to zoom in, or move it up to zoom out the height of the tracks. You can either drag the arrow handle or click on the plus and minus signs. Over here we've got the horizontal zoom bar. It works pretty similarly. It adjusts how much time is displayed in your project window. Move the arrow slider right to zoom in, or left to zoom out. You can click on the plus and minus signs to zoom in and out in increments. 
the arrow between the horizontal zoom bar and the horizontal scroll bar is called the horizontal zoom pop-up menu. You can select how much time you want displayed in your project window or choose from these presets. We've got zoom to full. That'll fill up the current window with your full project or zoom to locators. These are both really handy. Let me adjust the locators a bit so I can show you how these are different. You can zoom to a certain amount of time so that your horizontal display will show, for example, one minute of time, or let's say one second. That's a very close zoom. You can also save your own custom preset zoom levels here. This is really convenient. Just adjust to your desired zoom level, open the menu and choose Add. Type in the name of your preset, and then click OK. Now your custom view is available for selection from the drop-down menu. Obviously this is great for getting from one view to another really quickly. There's the one I just set up. You can also organize by renaming or deleting any of the zoom presets. Let's delete these three. OK. Lastly, don't forget about the horizontal and vertical scroll bars. These allow you to get up and down your project easily. And this concludes our tutorial about Zoom Tools.